Hello everybody, I wasn't gonna plan on recording, but I just looked at the player count and it's 6,000, like, did this game just blow up overnight or some shit? Anyways, because of that, I'm gonna assume there's some new players, right? And I'm gonna give a bit of, uh, how do I say, handy tips right now, because obviously, I mean, I was a new player about like five days ago, but I picked up very quickly because I played Apoch 1 for a very, very long time. I always wanted to enjoy Apoch 2, but the, where is it, influx, is that the right word? Big influx of hackers really turned me off, you know? Well, now Bifront exists, and it's, it's just really a breeze at this point, you know? I'm gonna just talk about the guns while it... Buddy. And just before the video starts, please subscribe. Just just make sure four seconds. It takes four fucking seconds of your beautiful damn time. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna go straight back to the video. Bye-bye. This game takes a lot of patience, okay? You have to start sniffing the cocaine to enjoy it, you know? Cocaine's not the most appealing drug. But, you know, when you get into it, it is no going back. And that's what Apoch is, you know? The drug is, you know, you, you fight some people, die, you want your loot back, and you, you spend hours trying to get it back, and then you get it back, and then yeah, there you go, that's the high. So to start off, this is how I kind of learned. There is no real way that you can, you know, memorize every single ammo type instantly. You have to just get used to it. That That's that's one thing that I learned. So, you know, you have all these 44 Magnums, you have 545 Soviet, you have 7.62 NATO, 7.62 Soviet, there's a lot, right? Model 788, it's a really terrible weapon. You know why? For a little fun fact, the scope sways. Like, no other sniper rifle in the game, for no reason. It just sways, and that makes it unusable, pretty much. And the recoil in this game is also something that you need to get used to. Don't get used to it when you're in mid-fight, right? Like, don't get used to it while you're fighting someone, because then you're gonna, like, be like, oh shit, it goes up, and oh shit, I'm dead, and oh shit, I'm gonna quit the game and rage quit because I think I'm ass, right? Skill issue. Boom. You don't want that. You want to probably spend a few rounds, you know, shooting the air or something, just testing how far it goes up, and then you're like, okay, I'm kind of confident that it's like this. That's 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 also the step two. And you should try that with almost every single gun. No, don't do it if you have 10 bullets, you know? Don't be a retard. Do it when you have a, you know, you have excess, you've been running around a bit. I mean, if you want to be ballsy, then no, I'm not stopping you from shooting and, and wasting all your bullets to nothing and then dying because you only have a knife, right? I mean, I don't know why I'm picking up NATO. Actually, there's a massive armory that I could go to. And that's another thing, actually, as I say that, as I mentioned it. The loot spots in this game, there's a lot. Like, everywhere, there's pretty, everywhere is pretty much a looting spot, right? So don't don't get invested. Don't play this game for the loot, which, I mean, you, you are, but don't, you know, you can be invested in the loot, right? But listen, when you get invested in the loot, right, you're going to avoid every single player because you're going to go around the map, right? I'm just kind of in prison right now because I'm trying to find this one place and I, I actually forgot how. Like, in the scenario of the excess ammo, like, I have so much 12 gauge and 12 gauge is one of the easiest ammo types to acquire that, you know, I can just go around and use it like a like a madman. One problem about this game that will be fixed actually, the map has too many hotspots. For example, this is a hotspot, this is a hotspot, all of these, like, basically anything with a name on it is, is a quote-unquote hotspot. You know, there's too many things, right? Because the, the, the map is, there's just a lot of loot to get in the map, right? That's why I said don't get invested, because you can find a, a an end game, like, end game kit in about ten, two minutes of spawning in, right? And that's not even being lucky, that's just on average. The way, the real way you're gonna get your best loot is by killing other players. I, like, the, the the real hard loot to get in this game is really hard. And you will spend over, like, three hours. Or someone else gets lucky. You know, you have to profit off someone else's, well, hard work, pretty much. Ooh. I guess I'm only going to talk about the most important tips right now. I'm not going to talk about like, oh, you should do this with the inventory. You know, I, it's not really that. I'm not going to really go into specifics because they're not really that important. I should only tell you. I, I really used every single... Man, time to begin with the important parts, which is the, the different guns you can get. I'm not going to talk about every single gun. I'm just going to talk about the ammo types because the ammo types pretty much define like the category of weaponry. For example, I'm going to start with 7.62 NATO or actually no, civilian weapons. Generally, they're pretty bad. You should avoid, you know, you should you should not really aim to be getting civilian guns. Some are very good, but listen, do you want to pick out some in a, in a category of weapons, or do you want to pick a lot, you know, like 7.62 NATO? Do you want to be aiming for 7.62 NATO or civ the, the very rare civilian guns that are sometimes good, you know? These weapons, civilian, you'll know them because you find them, you know, they, they, they just don't seem like uh, like someone from the army or military would wield them, you know? Kind of wooden stocks. They're good to have. You need to get rid of your snub nose revolver as soon as possible because it is the worst weapon in the game, which it rightfully is, obviously, right? You want to avoid rifles with a slow fire rate, even though they do, like, 38 damage. Oh my god, that's a three tap in the head, you know? It's still, like, if you're in close quarters combat, you're dead. You're fucking dead. There's nothing you can do about it. You can maybe, maybe you can start knifing them, maybe? You'll probably have a better chance of killing them if you run around trying to knife them. Shot! Right, I was <laughs> You want to aim for automatic weapons. Automatic weapons are usually, you know, the, the best thing here. If you're good with a rifle, fuck it, go for it, man. I don't give a damn, you know. If you can three-tap those people while they're running around sprinting, jumping, 
be my guest okay but i i usually go for submachine guns and, and whatnot right those are the the, the real you know you're gonna spray someone down while they like, like that, that guy like even the snub knows did the job four head, head four hits to the head you know dead smgs in this game are all pretty good decent hip fire which is a pretty important stat in this game this one has 57 which is also pretty good actually i'm not even gonna count this is the big difference between some of the weapons that you know se may seem pretty similar in the stats or like you know rarity for example you'll see an aks 74u and then you'll see a g3 you know they're pretty they're, like the aks literally has rare written over it, right oh why would you pick the g3 over the ak well Obviously, you can see the damn stats, right? But still, sometimes people need to have things said to them instead of reading because some people possess the inability to read. Shotguns in this game are actually all pretty good. They're, they're actually underrated, if anything. People are the people that use shotguns are usually asked, though. And the reason why it's not really a popular option is because the loot in this game works in the way that you're better like 12 gauge is actually the most like common it's one of the most common if not the, the the most common ammo type in the game and you can only go so far into collecting you know 2000 rounds of 12 gauge you know how much are you actually gonna use i would personally take any shotgun over any civilian rifle but yeah that, that's the point with shotguns shotguns would be mained if they were if they were if the 12 gauge was rare or some shit i'm, I'm telling you now i would actually rather have you know the best shotgun in the game and then a fucking thunderous ass secondary like a i don't know stunted ak-47 which is like that's not even a bad loadout and i think like veteran apoc 2 players would agree with me the kill time is crazy bro i mean that's kind of self-explanatory you just you shoot them in the head twice and they're dead and it's semi-auto <laughs> like bro even there's, there's a civilian shotgun you know that does that oh there's gunshots like right i mean i can go f i can go investigate you know it'd be boring to have a video talking about you know tips for apoc 2 without getting into many fights i shouldn't have revealed my location so early but i got a bit impatient i mean I, there was a car driving here you'd have to be fucking deaf to not hear it Oh, I see him. It's pretty low. I'm gonna keep driving. I'm getting shot from two different directions. Tagged him twice. I'm I'm giving call outs for myself. Okay. They're, they're. I don't wanna waste all my ammo, but that guy has like a snub nose or some shit. I might as well approach him. Let's see if I can run him over. Ow. Ow. They're swimming away. Why are they scared of me? Oh my, he actually fully ran away. Fucking pussy. 762 NATO is is more of a long range. It's an auto, it, they have automatic rifles. They have, you know, sniper rifles. This is this is for long range combat. You know, you will have accuracy. You will have damage. It, they're, they're good. But the one thing it obviously doesn't excel in is, is hit by accuracy, as you can evidently see. 762 Soviet is pretty much the same. I actually, there's, there's not too much difference. I think Soviets is rarer. I, I don't know. They might do more damage. They might have worse handling, as AKs really are in IRL as well. Just because it's less spawns. They, they both probably probably have the same rarity like in the game code or whatever the fuck that car's about to blow up what the fuck am i doing is that gonna blow up my car no okay or it's just a retard i'm in ash and i see someone uh oh i see oh they don't have very good weapons either so well, and Mini 14 is not bad, it's just I wish I had an automatic rifle. <laughs> I was getting back shots by the other guy while I was shooting him. Oh, he's dead now. <sighs> Let's see what they had. Probably not. Oh. This is what I mean, you know. How long would it have taken me to find that shit compared to just killing someone? Now, machine guns, um, they don't possess the best high fire accuracy, but they're obviously machine guns, you know, 100 round magazine. I think that actually is it, you know. Like, as far as it goes with, with the, the ammo types in this game. If I miss anything, please let me know. Other than that, I think that's about it. I mean, oh, fucking hell. There we go. I hit him for, <laughs> I don't know what I hit him for, but I hit him. Also, please just make sure you're subscribed. I really, 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 really would appreciate it. Just, you know. And if you find this video informative, you can even like the video, did you know? It really does mean a lot to me, and I, I would appreciate it so fucking much. Thank you.